Many of you have asked about my furnace and Satanite, so let's talk about that for a bit. More of you than I expected are actually trying to do this kind of thing with the melting of the metal and the fire and the brimstone and all that. Uh, and a lot of you have asked me about Satanite. I use the Satanite coating on my furnace, the Firebrick Foundry furnace. I'll put a link to my build videos in the description. And I think that's a good opportunity to launch into a whole rambly spiel about uh, furnace maintenance and all of that. I'm not going to be melting anything today, but if you're interested in melting metal, this might be of use. I, I really didn't expect as many of you out there to be trying to build this furnace, especially because it's expensive and way more work than, is, than you need. But eh, Satanite, it might be useful information. Uh, but we're going to look at the lid specifically. Here's the lid. Uh, my, my wonderful handles have held up well. This has gotten a bit of shape. We get the nice pretty colors and the gross, the gross of it being way too hot around here and the jaggedy cut that I never fixed and my nasty spot welds that I have actually held this whole time. So, so yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, you'll, you'll remember this being too complicated from the build video. But we are going to flip it over. I haven't flipped this over in a very long time. Ooh, yeah! All right, you see the steel is looking really gross from all the heat and we're getting some, some scaling. Uh, but this is made out of multiple bricks and then I had some other cut out bricks and I kind of coopered them to fit and then just wrapped this around and, and used Satanite as a mortar uh, and then a coating. So the Satanite originally was kind of a gray color and it's turned yellow. I don't know why, but apparently the, whatever I was melting has turned it yellow. You'll also notice it cracked between all the bricks. Yeah, Satanite I thought would work as a mortar. And if you remember this thing from the, the forge build, it, it kind of does, you know, <clears throat> but when it comes to heat and a lot of heat cycles, it, it just falls apart. So it's not a very good mortar, so lesson learned there. Also, it cracks between the bricks. It's adhered really well to the bricks, you know, no problems there, but in between, it's, it's, it's crumbly. Also, this, this coating isn't very thick. It's maybe a sixteenth of an inch, uh, and, and really you want more like, a, more like a quarter inch. So the point that I'm saying here, Satanite is good. It protects the bricks, but it's not foolproof, and you, you need some maintenance. Maintenance is kind of a, a, a general thing that you'll have to have with furnaces. This is my third furnace. First was the plaster sand garbage furnace that sucked. Second was the same thing made with uh, Caspel refractory cement, which I can't show you because I gave it away to someone. And then this one made out of fire brick and, uh, and steel. Insulating fire brick, 2800 degree insulating fire brick. I talk all about that in the, in the build video. I know this is good at protecting the bricks, because this, my plinth brick, was not protected, and it cracked. This is another 2800 degree fire brick, an off cut, and, it, and there was no force or nothing. It just kind of had a crack forming, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and then eventually it just broke apart. Also, yes, it's stuck. It's stuck to the crucible. Uh, quick tip, some people say put a piece of cardboard on top of your plinth brick, and then when you, when you fire, when you burn the thing, it'll, it'll leave a coating of ash carbon. That'll prevent this bonding from happening. So this has happened a few times and I, I just stick it back in and when it gets good and hot it, it comes off again. This is either vitrification or potentially borax. I used to use borax as a flux a lot on this and the, the crucible looks like death. Uh, I've since been told that might not be a great idea. So uh, yeah, take it or leave it on there. Now besides protecting the bricks, what do you want the Satanite for? Well, it's borax resistant. So that's, that's nice if you, were, if you want to use it in like a forge. This is a foundry furnace, but if you want to use it in a forge, this will prevent the borax that people use for uh, forge welding from eating away the bricks. The bricks are not tough. Uh, as you can see here, it's, it's chipping away just from a little bit of crumbly action. The, the fire bricks really can handle not having a coating. You've seen some made out of kaolin, wool, like the, the, the white wool looking stuff. If you run that without a coating, Satanite makes a great coating for that, by the way. If you run that without a coating, it'll get brittle and crumbly and fibers will shoot out the top and they, they, they're bad. They're bad for your lungs. In, in general, anything that isn't air is bad for your lungs. So uh, yeah, imagine little fibers. I don't know if it's like on par with asbestos or whatever, but don't breathe this stuff. Put a Satanite coating on it. Definitely Satanite coating. Even if it makes it look all goopy like this, it's fine. The Satanite also acts as something called a hot face. Think of it like this. I have the burner. 
kind of coming in an angle. The flames are coming straight in. Propane fire itself is way hotter than the air inside is going to be, way hotter than the metal is going to be, the flame itself. That's blasting on the side of this fire brick. This fire brick is rated for 2800 degrees. If it's blasting in here, this brick is going to get a lot hotter than this brick. The Satanite has a higher temperature rating than the brick underneath. So it's just kind of going to take some of the heat better. I've also heard on a, on a forge, like an actual forge, where people forge stuff, hence the name. I don't know why I keep saying this. Uh, people have said that when they get the, the fire blasting in from the propane burner, I should mention propane, I'm using propane, the fire will cause a red spot here. Coat the whole thing in Satanite, the red spot spreads out. It can somehow redirect the heat, radiate the heat differently. I don't know why, that's just something I read on the internet. So, you know, take it or leave it. All, all these people, all these people on the internet, you know, you, you can't trust any of them. Not a one. Especially ones with orange beards. So anyways, this worked pretty good. Main reason I'm showing you the lid, the lid will get much more abuse. So if the lid looks this good, the furnace looks better. I think the lid gets more abuse because you're moving it around more. The temperature kind of soaks through it more. The temperature has to go through this hole. Now, I mentioned this is too thin. So what I'm going to do, not now because my mixing jar is welded shut, it just turns out Satanite, it dries and, you know, it doesn't mortar bricks together real good, but man, it'll, it'll shut a mason jar. I'm not allowed to break any more mason jars. I already did too many of those. So I just poke around, look for any loose pieces, get them out of there, probably uh, try to clean up all the little bits of metal that are stuck in here, and then slather a new coat on. Now Satanite, a lot of people use like a quarter inch coat. You can kind of see here just how thin that coating is. Here's my finger for scale. So that's very, very thin. Some people make it like a quarter inch thick just for a little, little more strength, a, a little better hot face shield. Say you have the, the ceramic wool or whatever. That's your, your bulk insulation. And then you have a coating of Satanite. That's the hot face for obvious reasons. It's the face, it, it gets hot. Don't burn your actual face though, that's, that's a misnomer. Speaking of things that are hot, here's a close-up of the crucible. It actually looks glassy. One of the key components in clay is, is silica and other, other minerals that make up glass. So when it gets hot enough, those can actually leach out. And this may be exacerbated by my use of borax as a flux. So borax, borax is pretty bad for crucibles. But you know, it does, does make the copper shinier, so there's that. And we all know shiny is better. Here you can see a close-up of the cracking that's occurring. And that's, these are completely no longer mortared together at all. That's just this steel frame is what's holding it all together. So there you go. Short and sweet. Quick update on how the furnace is holding up the lid. And a, a few little bits of information about Satanite. If I were making this furnace again, I would make, I would not make the lid this complicated with this layer and this layer and that's, it's, no. No, there's no need for it to be that complicated. And this, this is a, revi a revision of my initial idea. My initial idea was way more complicated. I, I still wouldn't have the thing done if I did it that way. But if I was doing this again, I would most certainly use Satanite again. Satanite is a 3200 degree melting temperature or temperature rated temperature, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying. No, you probably don't. I don't explain myself all. But anyways, I would use this again. I would use Satanite again. I would use the higher temperature insulating fire brick again. Uh, I don't know of any ceramic wool with a melting temperature, not melting temperature, rated temperature, that's it, as high as Satanite. So definitely, definitely recommend, yes, do a thicker coating than this, don't use it as a mortar, and uh, you, you can apply multiple coats and, and you sh I should probably patch some of these big holes up, uh, although it, it is holding up well. I am planning on doing like a, a part five of the furnace build thing, uh, wherein I fix the liner a, a bit, add a little more Satanite, maybe patch up some of the cracks, uh, and also make a cart with wheels on it. I, I, as you know, I just got that TIG welder. I'm kind of practicing with the TIG welder, and then I want to TIG weld the liner, or not the liner. I, I can't speak. I haven't recorded a video in like two weeks, so this is, this is killing me. I want to TIG weld the frame. Uh, but I'm still practicing that, so I, I want to get reasonably competent before I go ahead and, and weld something that will be carrying something that's over 2,000 degrees inside, just as safety. And if you want to see how I'm doing, I went from this, which is horrible, to something more like this, which is not a lot better, to something like this, which is better, but still kind of looks like a row of snot, 
to this, which is is starting to look better. So yeah, I'm probably gonna probably gonna jump into that project real soon. Anyways, short video but useful information. Hopefully, if you're out there building a furnace, use Satanite. Even if you're using well, maybe not if you're using refractory cement. I don't know. I don't know. But if you're using fire brick and definitely if you're using ceramic wool, use Satanite. Just listen to me. I'm not making any money off it. I don't have stock in Satanite, so I don't have any reason to lie. But but the furnace. Look, look. This was so hot, I had to wear torch welding goggles because it was blindingly white. That's how hot it got, and it's it still looks pretty good. You know, it's it's still fine. But don't eat it. It doesn't taste good. Trust me on that one. Here's some footage from a stream I did last weekend after I recorded this, but you know I didn't I didn't get this edited out. My bad. Anyways, uh, here I'm showing the consistency you want to mix Satan I to. Looks kind of like sour cream, like I mentioned. See, it's kind of kind of squidgy. Don't smear it on a baked potato though. Like I said, it probably tastes bad. Uh, but it basically went through the whole process of of recoating the lid on stream, like the whole thing. I did the whole thing while talking. If you want to see that. Uh, some of the some of the things I said are repeats of what I said in this video, but a, a lot of it's not, and it, it took a little while, and then I did some welding at the end. But anyways, I, 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 I painted this all on stream, I talked a lot, I answered questions as they came in. If you want to see that, the replay is up on uh, on the channel somewhere. Uh, the, the thumbnail has my eyes way too close to the screen. That's the one you're looking for. But I went pretty quickly, and uh, talking from the future now... The the lid it dried pretty well and I think it's gonna hold up great. So yeah, I have no reason to expect that the 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 weird junk coated on there is gonna mess with adherence in any way. It should be okay. But again, I'll have to to check back and like I don't know what a, after I do some more melting. I got a lot more junk to melt, so we'll we'll see how it looks in maybe another month or two. But it looks okay. 